much for this opportunity. Um, thank you, Lightroom, for this opportunity. Um, I have a painting background, but eventually um, began creating installations and assemblages, uh, mainly out of found objects, uh, personal objects, or things I would find in thrift stores and things that seem to have some kind of, you know, reverential um, potential. But like were discarded or were just kept for too long that I should have thrown out, but or I thought that I should have thrown out, then realized oh I can repurpose this for art. So then I started just building uh, these elaborate kind of shrine-like assemblages to kind of like venerate them. Uh, and this is one example here. This is a piece called Deconstructed, and it's actually from a fashion line that I have called Daphne Nerva that I showcase. I showcase this collection actually. Um, is a collection of. Um, jackets and uh, blazers and things that I created for a show back in 2017. And I, after I created it, I just had a lot of it left over. And um, around the time when I was back in school for my MFA at City College, I looked back at those works and I was thinking I would, would be interested to kind of like repurpose them for art. So then um, I deconstructed them and hung them and you know I wanted a way to kind of like uh, Re relive my moment, my experience, um, creating them for the first time, like you know, hand painting them, creating them the way that I did for the fashion show years ago, and uh, venerating them in a new way. Where did your work in this exhibition? Oh, it's right around the corner. If you go around here, it's towards the back, in the corner. Around the corner, right? In the corner, around the corner. Right. Um, where do you live and work right now? Well, I currently, um, I lived in Astoria when I applied for this. Um, I currently live in Greenpoint now, and I work at Bushwick as a, um, I'm a, an art teacher at a charter school called The Chilean First. And um, I also have residency at Trestle Gallery in, Bo in Brooklyn, so my studio's there right now. Um, and I'm a fellow at JCAL, um, which is operating out of Jamaica Art Center. I started segueing into the fashion realm, which is really just like kind of art fashion. Like I was like painting and doing things like that on clothing, and you know I had a seamstress that was helping me like make the shapes that I wanted. So I was I kind of had one foot in the fashion realm, but was still in the art realm. And I eventually wanted to bring that of my collection into the art realm again. And I think now I'm kind of here to stay. Like even if I keep incorporating that Nerva works, it's going to live in the art realm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I crossed over to the so, so this piece here, you took apart your collection, so it's, it's all the stuff you have created and you took it apart, so it's sort of like a historical look back into the present too for you. Exactly. I couldn't have said that better. <laughs> Great. Where do you show your fashion work? Like where, where, can you find, where can we find it? The fashion right now has been on hold for a couple of years. I've really been focusing on other things. Um, really art, so the fashion is just kind of sitting in my, um, it's sitting in my shed in my backyard, um, but I want to unearth it to, in a new way, so not just this fashion, but like a lot of the old collections I'm probably going to continue creating new pieces for art with, and I'll probably create some new collections, but will be in the art domain. Hi, could you say more about why reverence is so important to you? It's important to me because I think that I um, I realized that I I questioned religion a lot growing up. I was raised an Anglican Christian, and after a certain point, I started kind of believing that the universe was God um, and had soul. And so I kind of like aligned with some pantheistic beliefs, but there aren't really any like there's not really a church that I know of or any rites and rituals or anything that comes with that. So through creating art, I kind of create my own and my. Uh, by appreciating, you know, mundane objects and things that we kind of revere, I kind of uh, 
in a way I think honor, you know, or pay homage or say that I'm grateful to uh, what was given to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely.